Happy Wednesday, guys. I hope you all are doing well, staying safe, and keeping up on your assignments for this week now that we are getting our work counted for grades. In this video, I'm going to give you guys the instructions and some helpful hints for our essay that's due on Friday, May 8th. If you are watching this video when you're supposed to be, it is Wednesday, May 6th. So that's three whole days to write an essay, which you are very capable of. As a reminder, on Monday and Tuesday this week, you should have read this nonfiction article, Shipwrecked, about explorer Ernest Shackleton, who explored Antarctica in July of 1914. You should have also read this memoir of the endurance voyage a memoir is a non-fiction so it's a true account of what happened but it is written from ernest shackleton's point of view so it reads more like a story but it is true so it's his point of view of what happened in this shipwrecked article by reading both passages you were able to get a really good understanding of what actually happened and it allowed you to compare and contrast two different writing styles and two different narrators. One shipwrecked had just like an impartial narrator who wasn't actually there. He would, that guy was just giving you facts. But in the memoir, it was Ernest Shackleton as the narrator. He was there, he experienced all of this. So that's gonna change how the information is presented to you. You should have also answered questions one through seven. If you have not done that yet, pause this video, go to our class page, or click on the tab that says shipwrecked and memoir, and answer these questions before you move on. Because in order to do our essay, you need to have read these two passages and understand them. For the essay this week, it's taken directly from an MCAS prompt. This was actually what my sixth graders wrote as an MCAS essay last year. So this is something that you could see in the future, not this year obviously, but maybe next year or in eighth grade. Typically when you do an MCAS essay, it's all in one sitting, but I want us since it's been a long time since we've done a lot of deep writing like this, I want us to take it day by day and break it down when you get the prompt these are just like general directions up here make sure you have a central idea that you develop throughout the essay that means that whatever like the prompt or the question is you need to actually answer it and all the evidence that you present throughout that essay need to go along with that central idea so you don't wanna be rambling all over the place with random evidence, but rather you wanna be saying like, this is my answer, this is what I'm gonna write about the entire essay, and then make sure all that evidence goes with that idea. You need to provide evidence and details from the passages. Again, what we, I just said, make sure that your evidence is from both passages and that it makes sense with your central idea and use correct grammar, spelling, and punctuation. We will be talking a lot about that tomorrow during our Zoom class. This down here is the actual prompt. Based on shipwrecked and a memoir of the endurance voyage, write an essay explaining whether Ernest Shackleton was a hero. Be sure to use information from both the article and the memoir to develop your essay. So right there, two really important things that you need to know about this essay prompt in order to get full credit on this essay you need to answer the question do you think ernest shackleton is a hero that right there is your central idea your central idea is either going to be ernest shackleton was a hero or ernest shackleton was not a hero that is information that you will put in your introduction paragraph. In a minute, I'm gonna show you guys how to organize your writing. All of the evidence that you use should come from both the article and the memoir. You need to use both passages to earn full credit. 
and your evidence should say either Ernest Shackleton is a hero or Ernest Shackleton is not a hero. So if you're gonna argue, if your central idea is Ernest Shackleton is a hero, all the evidence that you put in your body paragraphs needs to say, Ernest Shackleton was a hero because of these things that he did. And I know he did these things because it says so in these passages. On the other hand, if you're going to argue that Ernest Shackleton was not a hero, then you need to, in your body paragraphs, include evidence from both passages. Ernest Shackleton was not a hero because he did these things, and I know he did these things because it was in these passages that we read. I'm going to stop sharing this screen and put up another screen. I want to show you first where you guys should be submitting this or where you should find more information about this. So first of all, you're right here. On this page right here, the video is going to be down here. I just haven't uploaded it yet. There's a schedule right here. If you follow this schedule, you will have about an hour of work each day. Today, you're going to make sure that you understand what the prompt is, which if you're watching this video, you hopefully do. You need to tell me, is Ernest Shackleton a hero, yes or no, and provide evidence. And then when you're done watching this video, you're going to start planning your response. Make up your mind. Do you agree that he was a hero or not? And then fill out your graphic organizer. I'm going to get you that in a second. Tomorrow, Thursday, attend our Zoom class at 12. My goal is to have about 30 to 40 minutes of actual class time together, get you guys started writing. And then whenever we're done with class, you use the rest of that hour time to get a lot of writing done. Friday, you're going to want to finish writing the essay, which will be like your first draft unrevised version. Then you're going to go back and actually revise it, make sure that your spelling's good, that it makes sense, that it's organized, and then submit your essay. In order, there's two things that you could do to type your essay, and it depends on what kind of programs your computer has. If your computer that you are working on has Microsoft Word on it, which if you're using a school computer, it should have Microsoft Word, you're going to go here where it says turn in essay here. You're going to click this. I'm not going to click this right now because it's going to show you my teacher view. You're going to click this. And when you click this, there should be an attachment that says shipwrecked essay. You will click that and you will open that and you can type your essay there. If you do not have Microsoft Word on your computer or when you go to type your essay, even if you do have a school computer and it doesn't let you download Microsoft Word, you can submit it down here. You can go down here, click View Student Discussions, click New Post, and submit your essay there. Again, so right now, if you have any questions, if you're confused about anything, I would suggest first pausing this video re and re-watching those to see how to submit this. Now, I said a lot in here like, oh, organize your writing, use a graphic organizer, make sure that your writing is organized. You, there's a couple of things you can do. This is the graphic organizer that we're familiar with. It's the one that we get on MCAS. We use something really similar to this in class. You don't want to just start writing because I love you all and I know you all. And I know that when you guys just start writing without organizing your thoughts first, your thoughts get kind of jumbled all over the place, which is why it's important to like plan it out first. If you are going, if you can download the Microsoft Word attachment that I posted where it says turn in the assignment, this is on there. If you're not able to download that, I'm going to attach a copy of this on our class page, or you could even draw or write something like this on a piece of paper 
I know some of you prefer to handwrite over typing and that's totally fine. In this box right here up top, this introduction, central idea. This is where you're gonna put your central idea of what you are arguing throughout this essay. Since our prompt is, do you believe Ernest Shackleton was a hero? Your central idea is either going to be Ernest Shackleton was a hero or Ernest Shackleton was not a hero. That's what's gonna go in here for your introduction. That's your central idea. Then you'll notice you have three spaces for evidence and details. You need to find three pieces of evidence that support your central idea. So again, if you're arguing that he was a hero, find three pieces of evidence that explain why he was a hero. What did he do that makes you think he's a hero? But if you're arguing that he was not a hero, you need to find three pieces of evidence that explain that he's not a hero. What did he do that makes you think he's not a hero? And then this is the important part. This is the part that people struggle with the most. And this is what we're going to spend a lot of time doing tomorrow. Your explanation. Whatever piece of evidence you chose, you need to explain why that shows you that he is a hero or why he is not a hero. So for example, if I was going to argue Ernest Shackleton is a hero, I'm gonna show you how I would fill out my chart here. So Ernest Shackleton is a hero. And there's no right or wrong answer here. As long as you can prove with evidence your opinion, you're not right or wrong if you're arguing that he is or is not a hero. And then if I say my first piece of evidence is that he helped his teammates, because I remember in the memoir, he helped get his crew because he went back. I don't have the piece in front of me. I, you, you all are going to put actual text evidence right there. And then I will say that the reason, now I need to think like why, why does him going back prove that he is a hero? Well, if he wasn't a hero, he wouldn't have gone back to help his crew, but he risked his life to go help his crew get them back. Like he was already safe. He was out of the woods, but he went back to get them. So that's why him going back to get his crew shows that he is a hero. That's my explanation right there. So again, there's the three parts there. You need to have your central idea. You need to provide evidence that supports your central idea. And then you need to explain why that evidence supports your central idea. That explanation, as I tell you guys all the time, it's in your own words. Evidence is directly from the text, but explanation is in your own words. If you guys have any questions about this process or if you're confused, that's totally fine. What I want you guys to do after watching this video is try it out to figure out, do you think he was a hero or not? And start planning your writing. Remember, if you want, you can download this and type it in Microsoft Word, or you can write it out on a piece of paper, whatever you prefer. Is he a hero or not? And your evidence as to why. Then come to class tomorrow. Come to our Zoom tomorrow, Thursday, May 7th at 12. Where I'll help you guys continue to fill this out, help you get started on your writing, really work on that explanation piece down here. If you have any questions before that, you can feel free to email me, message me through Teams, message me through Unified Classroom, message me on Dojo, however you can get in touch with me. I hope to see you all tomorrow at our Zoom. Bye, have a good day, have fun writing.